What's up peeps? Welcome back to another video. This one's a little different. So as the intro kind of suggested, Ashley is involved in this one. She's sitting behind the camera. Hello, Ashley. What she did in the intro was choose three whiskeys at random. No particular category. So it could be a scotch, bourbon, rye. It could be Irish, it could be Japanese, all of the above. All are options on the table here. So the order that she took out the whiskeys from the whiskey cabinet is the order that she thinks I'm gonna like best to worst. So we're gonna blind taste test these whiskeys and see if she's correct. How well she knows my palate. Just looking at these whiskeys, they're pretty light. Uh, I would say a burnt amber on all three. And since they're such a light color, I kind of want to go with a Scotch, Irish, or Japanese whiskey, just based on the color itself. Usually bourbon is a little darker. So we're gonna go into the nosings. Very floral, citrusy notes. Getting a little dark chocolate. Some pretty good sweetness on that one. Going to the next one. Softer on the nose. You still got some floral notes in there. Like a honey sweetness. Just a hint of wood spice. That one is uh, softer on the palate. It almost reminded me of an Irish. Not completely sure on that one, but we're gonna move on to the third one. If not an Irish, at least a malt. Ooh, quite a bit of orange. Orange zest. All three of these whiskeys are pretty phenomenal. They're pretty hard. They're definitely, I would not say bourbon. Am I supposed to give you a hint? I'm not going to. Yes. Oh. No, I'm telling you. Ah, fuck. This video is a test on you, not on me. <laughs> exactly. It's just which ones you like. <sighs> Son of a... I don't know if this is right, but is this... I can't ask you. This one reminds me of s'mores. Would you actually open the box to Texas whiskey? No, I didn't. I'll, I'll, I'll I didn't do that. I thought about it, but I didn't do that. Okay. So you just gave me a hint. This has to be a malt. Or made out of barley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still getting the dark chocolate. That sip, I got a little bit more wood spice to it. Pretty solid. Notes are pretty steady. It's a pretty decent ride. Finish has quite a bit of wood on it and a little bit of uh, dark chocolate and wood spice. Pretty good. The nose on this one definitely entices me. It's very florally, almost reminds me of like tropical fruit, maybe. Ah, damn it. That one reminds me of a Irish. It's probably not right, but I feel like I'm getting some butter cookie out of it. Ah, damn it. This one was a little bit more straightforward. Number two. Takes number one. I'm still getting that orange zest. A little bit of brown sugar. A little bit of vanilla. I'm getting barley. That one's really solid. Ooh, I got peanut on that. Off of the legs on this one, I got peanut out of that one. But I think that one takes third for now. I'm gonna compare these two. 
This is so hard. Because all these are really good. You chose wisely. I know. Thank you. I finished off this one. And I retried this one. This one is definitely softer on the palate. It's a little easier to drink. This one has a lot of character. But today, and of course, your tasting changes every day, every hour, depending on what you just ate beforehand. But today, I'm feeling probably more of a softer palate. Maybe not so much needing to explore. This one needs a little bit. With the uh, softer, sugary notes, like a maple syrup, the palate is definitely uh, silky. And we're going to compare it with the current first place contender. Much more floral notes on this. Reminds me of like wildflowers, that kind of floral note. I actually am enjoying this nose a bit more. This one had the character and the spiciness that this one had but it kind of rounded off a little bit. So instead of continuing to spike up with that wood spice spike, it kind of like rounded down with the sweetness and then ended off there. That one was actually pretty enjoyable for uh, how I'm feeling today. And I think that one takes first place. And I think this is the lineup. Just off camera, what, 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 what do you think? Did you choose Japanese whiskeys? I chose a couple. Hibiki. Yeah. Yes. Yamazaki 12. Mm -hmm. Shit. No, don't do this to me. Son of a... Okay. So, Ashley's about to reveal to me what these whiskeys were, and I feel like I'm going to be super disappointed. Because I know which one I would want to be in first place. All of these are really good whiskeys. But there's one in particular that I'm pretty fond of. I did call it. These all tasted like malts. I did call one of them. I did say Hibiki Harmony. I was correct. I'm concerned I put that in number one over the one that I really wanted. So... Ashley, what do we have in third place? Third place? Yamazaki Single Malt 12 Year Old. A little surprised on that. Although I'm not because it had quite a bit of character. But I just wasn't feeling it today. This is sitting at 43% ABV. Number two. Drum roll. Ready? <sighs> yep. No way! <laughs> yes! Number two, Hibiki Harmony. Fantastic whiskey. It's very good. Got my number two. This one is sitting at 43%. I am pretty fond of the Japanese whiskey, but that means. Come here, Wally. Come here. You gotta help me celebrate. <sighs> Stop. Number one. And that creates goose pimples, and then that penetrates my mind, and then the, the whole big bang explosion. <laughs> Please, the Longmorn 16 Single Malt Scotch. Yay! After she pulled this one out, I cringed. I was like, there's a chance that I might not put this in first place and I did not want to live in that world. This is known in the whiskey world as a distiller's whiskey. This one is sitting at, let's 
got even a cool box. 48% ABV. This is definitely one of the better purchases I have made. I will always keep a Longmorn on my shelves. Highly recommend it. If you ever see it, you should get it. Not even joking. You should get it. You should get it. So I'm pretty happy about how this came out. I'm happy about who won. But these are still pretty terrific drams. Highly recommend these ones too. But there's just a little bit of this Longmorn and I gotta get every single last drop of this bad boy. May the roof above us never fall in and we friends beneath never fall out. Under this roof, it's never gonna fall out. So. Ah. Oh. Cheers guys. It's just a terrific terrific. It's it's definitely a terrific dram. Yeah, you better be concerned. Our marriage is on the line.